Hi, Vlog Buddies. So, I'm here today with my good friend, David Hood. He is a professor and motivational speaker, and on uh, November 17th, 17th. 17th, we're going to be doing a, uh, a webinar. Worldwide event. Worldwide web event. Uh, where we're going to be talking about the 15 secrets uh, to success. And, and we want you guys to be there um, because it's going to be fun and amazing. You can click the link in the sidebar to learn about the event. But today... It's over there. <laughs> it's over there. <laughs> it's over, over there. So today we want to talk to you about um, five roadblocks that... Uh, five roadblocks to success. The first roadblock to success is that success isn't necessarily glitter, glamour, and in uh, fame. And I think that a lot of people view success as that, and that that is probably the path to success for a very small percent of the population. That not everyone is going to be the next Oprah Winfrey, uh, but that that maybe your path to success is, is being a doctor or a teacher or a janitor. And all of those things can be incredibly successful, um, but that they don't necessarily involve being famous in this grand magnitude. Um, and, and then that's okay. The second roadblock that we came up with was uh, basically the people around you. And that kind of comes with two part portions. The first portion I'd like to say is that sometimes people in your life will hold you back from becoming successful. Um, not to say that people will be jealous of you, but people sometimes will see things in you and they might just kind of harbor ill feelings towards that, or they might block you from actually truly developing those ideas. They might just be a, a no you can't person. Right, yeah. absolutely. Negativity is always not necessarily a good thing. Uh, the other portion of that is that sometimes people view the people around you and in a negative way or possibly not necessarily something you want to be portrayed as because those people are just not necessarily good people. Right. In, in other words, other people are going to look at your crowd of friends and, and, and get a sense of who you are based on that crowd, which may or may not be true, but that's how other people are going to, are going to operate. So the, the third roadblock to success is ignoring the music inside you. You could also say it's ignoring the voice inside you. It's that little nagging presence, that little nagging voice that's telling you you know, you really should be a teacher, you really should be a teacher, you really should be a teacher. Meanwhile, you're trying to be a lawyer, you're trying to ignore that voice as much as you possibly can, but, but there's a reason for that voice. And if you start to tune into that voice, instead of tuning it out, then you start to move yourself into a more successful space, and then you start to uh, travel on uh, a path of success and, and a purpose. The fourth robot that we came up with that we thought was kind of creative was using somebody else's yardstick to measure your own success. Um, you said something about Oprah before, and I thought that was kind of interesting because a lot of people, and we'll say for instance a therapist, will picture themselves as only truly being successful if they become as famous as Oprah, because that's what their goal is. A goal may not be your successes, however at the same time, you need to find a measurement that is for you, not somebody else's measurement. Uh, into the idea of success. Right. It's like if, if you have a friend that's becoming a doctor and, and, and you're becoming a teacher and you see your friend get a BMW or Mercedes or some kind of fancy car, well that, that, that's his path. That's not yours. And, and you can't confuse the two. His, his measurement of, of success is going to be different than what yours is. Absolutely. So the last word block to success, number five, is closing the doors around you. Uh, I think a perfect example of this is an ex-boyfriend that I had that wanted to become a doctor. And uh, he really had his whole life kind of planned out in this very narrow vision, which is fine. But in doing so, he really closed all the possibilities out in his life. And who knows if in five years or ten years he's going to want something different, or some amazing opportunity is going to cross his path, but because it's not aligned with what he thinks uh, you know, things ought to be, uh, that he wouldn't see it, or wouldn't wouldn't follow it, or, or, or would just ignore it completely. Um, so I think you need to be open to the possibilities. Um, you need to be open to, to whatever might develop, and, and recognize that success is is evolving and growing and changing over time. So, blog buddies, those were our five roadblocks for success. We hope you enjoyed them. Moreover, we hope that you join us uh, on November seventeenth for the worldwide web event. Uh, it's at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.
and uh, we want to see you there because it's interactive. And that's the most thing I'm excited for. That's right. Well, because if you're not there, then it's, Absolutely. it's not interactive. So we look forward to your comments and questions. Right. So we're going to answer comments, questions, and, and share the 15 secrets to success that we've come to uh, know and understand and appreciate. Secrets to inner and outer success. We've got all the bases covered, bitches. So, <laughs> so we want to see your face in that place. Peace out. Thank you.